This presentation is brought to you by the Beljanski Foundation. Over 50 years of research towards curing cancer the natural way. Hello everyone. Once again, my name is Dr. Larissa Likwer. I am board certified physical medicine and rehabilitation doctor and I specializing in non-surgical degenerative treatment of musculoskeletal problems. So why are we here today? First of all, we're here today because we care. We care about our health or about health of our loved one. Uh, we will learn today about what is physical medicine and rehabilitation doctors are, uh, what is the musculoskeletal disorders, why they occur, what we can do to prevent them, and what options do we have if they still occur despite our perfect behavior towards ourselves. So physical medicine rehabilitation, uh, who knows what is the physical medicine and rehabilitation medical doctors? Nobody. It's, it's a usual picture. Uh, a lot of people know physical therapists, acupuncturists, uh, chiropractors, and if these methods didn't help, go straight to orthopedic doctors who are surgeons and were trained to help uh, to treat musculoskeletal disorder, musculoskeletal pain with the surgery. But in reality, there is a huge territory in between which belongs to physical medicine and rehabilitation medical doctors who specializing in treatment of musculoskeletal disorders by non-surgical means. What is the musculoskeletal disorders? It's a problem with the bones, tendons, ligaments, nerves, the, syst uh, the musculoskeletal system, which helps us to move uh, throughout the space, if you will. Uh, the fundamentals of the field originated during the ancient time in the history of physical medicine and rehabilitation crosses many cultures and geographic boundaries. Uh, what is the main cause of musculoskeletal disorders? Actually, for... No, nowadays, it's our lifestyle. Most of the time we sit, we do not use our musculoskeletal system. We do not walk too much. We do not lift heavy stuff. We, we, we are not utilizing the power, physical power of our body. And our body is very smart. If we don't use it, we lose it. So our muscles become weaker. They lose coordination with our nervous system, with our tendons. They do not have enough blood supply. And if all of a sudden we have extra effort, we can damage ourselves. In um, one of the uh, main presentation of musculoskeletal problem, it's a pain. So why do we have pain to start with? Our body is very smart. So if we have pain, we can get that probably we need it for some reason. Pain is a way of communication our body with our conscious. Our body giving us message, there's something wrong in one part of our body. Uh, pain has a lot of classification, one of them uh, based on the duration of the pain. Acute pain is from the beginning of the pain until three months. Uh, it's the most active period of time when our body is trying to heal itself. And self-healing ability, it's, the, uh, it's in pro genetically programmed in our system. And this self-healing ability kicks in from the moment we are born. Without self-healing ability, we can survive one or two hours after the birth. And during the acute period of time after injury or developing the problem, body desperately trying to heal itself. Subacute pain from three to six months when body kind of like brushing up the, the healing process. And if we have pain more than six months, it's always pathological. Any pain which is more than six months, it's a pathological pain which should not be there. We're not designed to have a chronic pain. So what conventional, I mean, we have two basic kind of approaches to deal with the musculoskeletal problems. There is a conventional approach and alternative approach or regenerative approach, if you will. Conventional medicine offer um, different type of pain medication, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory Advil, Aleve, or Naproxen, um, just a pain medication, Tylenol, uh, narcotic painkillers, Vicodin and others. Um, chiropractic care, a physical therapy, which are very useful technique. Um, if all of this didn't help, most of the time people getting corticosteroid injection or cortisone shots, which is very, very, very powerful anti-inflammatory um, substance. And if none of this work, uh, people send to surgery. 
but again, uh, because um, all these conventional methods, most of the time, targeting pain as a symptom, and like we said before, pain, it's a way of communication, our body was our conscious. And when we shutting down the communication channel, our problem is still there, but we're not aware about it. And we continue using abuse damaged uh, structures and provoking even further deterioration of the structures. So uh, another uh, indicator of the uh, musculoskeletal problem is inflammation. So why, why we have inflammation? Uh, it's again, because we have it, probably our body needed, our body developed inflammation for probably a very good reason. Everything's nature serves a purpose. Let's take a look at the uh, one of definition of inflammation. Inflammation is part of the complex biological response of uh, body tissue to harmful stimuli such as pathogens, damaged cells, or irritants, and is the protective reaction involving immune cells, blood cells, uh, blood vessels, and molecular um, mediators. And if you remember, a lot of... Um, uh, the main kind of like approach with conventional medicine to uh, give patients with pain anti-inflammatory medication to stop inflammation process and thus actually stopping the body attempts to heal itself. Why? Because inflammation is the first stage of healing. Without inflammation stage, other stages of self-healing will not follow. Alternative approach focus primarily on treating of the cause of the pain, the root cause of the problem. And we have quite a few uh, methods which will trigger self-regenerative process um, in the body. We have diet modification, neuroprolotherapy, prolotherapy, PRP, opletals, rich plasma, um, prolozone, stem cells, etc. All of these names sounds kind of like weird, very new, but idea behind the methods, uh, based on our knowledge, how our body can heal itself, and it's absolutely not new. Like we all know, new is the forgotten old. Technically speaking, Moses was the first person with the tablet downloading data from the cloud. So our modern um, alternative regenerative methods are not new. They're based on our knowledge and knowledge of our ancestors about how our body works and operate. Hot needles were driven into the sh uh, shoulders of injured gladiators in order to trigger inflammation, thus facilitate, facilitating the self-healing process. From Roman times to New York times, no changes in human body. The only what changed our respect toward our body. In the old time, in the Roman times, we really listen our body and trying to, we're trying to go along with our body and helping our body. Modern days, we're looking for quick fix and not thinking about what is going on inside. So regenerative solution for, um, which is the basic, fundamental basic for regenerative medicine, um, it's, it's, helping our body to heal itself and go along with our genetically programmed ability. So two major uh, methods, it's prolotherapy and PRP, platelet rich plasma therapy, are regenerative methods that trigger good controlled inflammation and thus facilitate non-surgical reconstruction of tendons and ligaments. Uh, both of these methods will trigger release and activation so-called growth factors. A name speaks for itself. It's growth. It helps our body to regrow, regrow damaged uh, structures. The growth factors is a naturally occurring substance capable of stimulating cells growth, proliferation, healing, and cellular differentiation. Growth factors typically act as a signaling molecules between cells and thus facilitating the self-regenerative process. Um, Let's take a closer look at the alternative methods. So diet modification. Some food will increase acidity in our body and provoke bad inflammation. Another type of food will decrease acidity and promote healing process. Neuroprolotherapy. It's an injection technique which will address tiny nerves located underneath of the skin, uh, which is responsible for healing process. And this treatment will 
help nerves to function better and facilitate regeneration. Prolotherapy. Another name for prolotherapy, it's a non-surgical reconstruction of tendons and ligaments. Why I am emphasizing about the te uh, on tendons and ligaments? Tendons and ligaments, it's supportive structures of the joint. Joint is just two bones, and without support, we cannot have any functional structure. So these supportive structures, tendons and ligaments, make from two bones joint and let us move around. Another function of these tendons, um, to let our brain know in what position we are. That's why these tendons have a lot of nerve ending. And when they're damaged, we have tremendous pain. And most of the time, pain generator goes, pain generators not only joint itself, but mostly structures around it. And um, can you imagine if these structures will be damaged? I have a like, visual example of what would happen with our body. This is so-called tensegrity model. Tensegrity in a very simple way to explain, it's a dynamic equilibrium between um, not uh, between solid structures in our body, like uh, in musculoskeletal system, like bones, and flexible, stretchable structures like tendons and ligaments. And this structure is very durable. You can press, compress it, and it will restore its form very quickly. You can pull it in the side, and it will come back to the normal form. Imagine what happened with the entire structure of the body if just one ligament will be out of order. Imagine what happened. So we lost entire entire integrity in the entire body. Can we fix that with pain medications? I doubt it. So, so the prolotherapy helps us to restore integrity of these uh, supportive structures. PRP or platelet rich plasma, basically the same idea, but it's more powerful. With prolotherapy, we use dextrose sugar solution. It's a good sugar because a lot of people now are afraid of word sugar, but it's a good one, which will trigger a good process, healthy process in our musculoskeletal system. PRP or platelet rich plasma, the same basic idea to trigger self-regenerative process, but it's more powerful tool. For the PRP or platelet rich plasma, we take patient blood, spin it in a special, special centrifuge, separate it, concentrated and inject back into the compromised area, which will trigger even more powerful self-regenerative process and help our body to heal itself. Prolozone, it's a also injection technique, combination of injection, homeopathic medication, sol solutions with ozone. Ozone is an active form of oxygen. When we provide oxygen to the, our body, our body start to breathe better and regenerate better. Let's take a look at the few cases of my patients. Margaret, 74 years old, um, a lady with the uh, severe osteoarthritis of her both knees. Her pain level uh, was 7 out of 10 in the scale. When she saw me, her pain level was 7 out of 10 in the scale from 0 to 10. 0, no pain. 10, the worst pain in the world. Her functional limitation, she couldn't walk more than one or two blocks. She couldn't go up and down stairs. She couldn't sit for a long period of time. Her treatment was Tylenol. She did some exercises. Um, when she couldn't take this pain anymore, she was seen by orthopedic doctors. X-rays was done, showed the end stage, like severe, very advanced arthritis of her knees. And she was told that the only solution for her, both knees replacement surgery. She saw me for the second opinion. And uh, to make, throughout the two years, she, I mean, about the comments about the two years, you know, to get to the point of advanced arthritis, it usually takes many, 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 many years. And for body to get it under control, it will take some time. So throughout the two years, she had prolotherapy with ozone to rebuild uh, supportive structures in her knee joints. Uh, she had prolotherapy uh, with ozone to both her ankles because they were involved and actually triggering the problem in her knees. She had neuroprolotherapy to control her neurogenic inflammation. She had viscous supplementation or lubrication treatment into her knee. She had physical therapy, diet modification, home exercise program. Two years later, Margaret was almost, uh, not almost, Margaret was 100% pain-free without practically functional limitation considering her age. Another case, uh, entrepreneur, 53 years old. Uh, David uh, presented uh, into my office with right hand um, 
in this finger pain for one and a half years, uh, which was triggered by tennis play, playing tennis and handshake. Uh, she, he had occupational therapy, he had the corticosteroid injection once with the good result until he was in a party and bodybuilder shake his hands and he developed horrible pain again in his hand and since then he was afraid to shake anybody's hands and he was not able to play tennis. So he was, uh, MRI was done, we showed pulse, partial tear of the tendon in his finger. He was seen by orthopedic, uh, by, uh, yeah, by the hand surgeon. He was told to try another, another course of occupational therapy and if no improvement, he, ha he has to have surgery. He saw me for the second opinion. He had a one treatment of PRP, platelet rich plasma with ozone. After just one treatment, he had a hundred, 100% resolution of his symptoms. He came back to playing tennis and is not afraid to handshakes, uh, to shake hands anymore. Um, another case, um, former professional dancer and, and now a professional photographer of professional dancers. Uh, she, she, she does incredible work, but the, from morning till night, she is working with the camera in her hands and she developed uh, shoulder pain and instability. Uh, at the point that she couldn't work. She was seen by another pain management doctor and she was told that the only solution what can be offered, cortisone shot. Instead of that, she saw me for the, uh, for the consultation. And um, I did the musculoskeletal diagnostic ultrasound in her office. And I found out that she has unstable shoulder for multiple reasons. Plus she had, she had a, uh, tightness in the front of her shoulder because of the superficial layers of the muscles were too much attached to the lower levels of the muscles and didn't let her to move her shoulder in, in the proper trajectory. Um, I did ultrasound guided fascia hydro dissection. This is needle uh, with the, on top of the superficial layer and the low, uh, the deep layer and separate these uh, layers and free the nerves in between these layers. And she had a um, couple treatments of prolotherapy with ozone. So a month after second treatment, she reported 85% improvement in her shoulder pain and a hundred percent resolution of the shoulder instability and tightness. I want to share this proverb, Chinese proverb with you. I love it. If you want happiness for an hour, take a nap. If you want happiness for a day, go fishing. If you want happiness for a month, get married. If you want happiness for a year, inherit a fortune. If you want happiness for a lifetime, help others. I was fortunate enough to join the international organization of the doctors who go to Honduras and Mexico and provide free prolotherapy treatment there every year. And it, oh, it, it's, a, it's incredible feeling to help other people who are less fortunate than, than we are. And we share experience, we teach each other, we learn from each other, and we're helping other people. It's, 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 I just want to share it with you. It's, 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 a, it's amazing feeling. And it really enriched my personal and professional life. This is Adam, my very first grandson. He's reading his very first book and preparing himself for his future where the sky is the limit. Today we're living in um, amazing, incredible time when uh, advances in modern technology allowing us to learn and uncover more and more secrets about our body, um, uh, incredible ability to heal itself. I believe that the doctor function, first of all, always remember about first rule of medicine, do no harm. And another one to um, incorporate, combine uh, incredible uh, cutting edge uh, advances in modern medicine. Uh, we should combine it with the wisdom of uh, centuries knowledge of self-healing ability of our body and help our body to heal itself instead of damaging it. Stay healthy, never doubt your body.